friends, Wizards, Witches, and Muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well, and welcome back to a brand new magical unboxing. That's right, today we're going to be unboxing the Gobstone Alley flying parcel from um, October. <laughs> yes, uh, better late than never. They are trying to get on top of things, I believe. Their customer service has improved. Anytime I reply now, they do seem to message me back. So hopefully, if you guys need to message them, give it a go. Hopefully, they're improving. So yeah, the October box is here. I'm very excited. Again, nice and heavy. Nice and heavy box. That's always a good sign. So if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to be a part of our weird magical online family but let's go because we've waited for so long okay I am so ready to get inside of the flying parcel from October let's just get straight on into it shall we here we go I have got red tissue paper let's have a quick sneak peek and okay I'm gonna speak about this sooner than planned so I feel as though this is not me trying to spill tea but Ultimately, it's a little bit of tea, little tiny little teacup, just like, anyway, so um, there's a beautiful piece of artwork in here, which is a postcard, and it's Hogsmeade Village, and it is indeed gorgeous, you've got floating candles and snow on the rooftops, and it even says Hogsmeade, Scotland, and it's a gorgeous piece of art. Now, um, here's the little tea. Uh, this was not designed by Gobstone Alley. They uh, somehow stole someone's artwork and it belongs to someone under the name of Magic Mushroom Paper Co. on Etsy. I will leave her link down below. She does some incredible stuff. I've already had a little look. This is her design and sadly it's made its way into a subscription box without permission. I have spoke to Gobstone Alley and they didn't know about this. I, from what I understand, they hire designers and designers steal things. Ah, it's really awkward to talk about. This has happened with other subscription boxes. They just didn't know. Their designers, have, have, have they been using like the same designer who's just like nicking everyone's work? Either way, so Magic Mushroom Paper Company, gorgeous print. I'm sorry that they didn't ask you, but hopefully they've got in touch with you now. They did tell me that they were getting in touch with you to sort this out and hopefully compensate you. I really hope that they do. Feel free to message me if they don't. Here is the postcard, and it is, it's stunning. It's a really beautiful piece of artwork. In fact, I would be inclined to put this in my magical frames behind me because it's so, so pretty. Anyway, there's your little cup of tea. Let's move on with the rest of the box shall we let's just get rid of that so let's start with the wearable that i see on top which is a t-shirt what's it gonna be what's it gonna oh ooh! it says quidditch league team captain all of this is in gold foiled kind of ink and so we've got a snitch we've got the quidditch hoops we've got a quaffle and oh this is really nice it's a black t-shirt the quality is nice, I love the print. It's really nice to get some gold kind of foiling print on t-shirts, it definitely gives a much more magical vibe. What do you guys think? I personally am really pleased with that. It's definitely one that I'm gonna keep. Obviously I can't keep all of the t-shirts that I receive, but this is definitely going into my wardrobe because I really like it. Yeah, good job. We've got things and we've got all of their lovely packaging. I don't know what to pick. You know what, I'm gonna choose this because this is the only thing in the box that you can actually see what it is and everything else is gonna be a surprise. So, it's another mug. You guys know how I feel about the magical mugs right now. It's gonna be, I just imagine myself in my dream house in the future with my kitchen island and it's just like a tower of Harry Potter inspired mugs on top on mug trees or something. Anyway, so this mug is a licensed product. As you can see, these are definitely made by Harry Potter themselves. And it says Hogwarts Mischief Managed. It's a really nice simple cup, actually. It doesn't like scream Harry Potter with the colors or anything, but I really like it. It's in Gryffindor color, actually. So I don't know if they change that depending on your house, but even if they don't, it's really, really nice. Love me a mug. I'm really pleased with this box so far. It has been worth the wait. Let's see what is in the rest of it to see if it's really been worth the wait because it's been a while. It's been a long while. Okay, there is 
something wrapped in this eco packaging, which I'm a big, big fan of. It feels like dragon scales. Oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a potion. It's a potion. It's a potion. It's a potion. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. This is fluxweed. It says at first I was like, oh, gillyweed. But no, it says that it's fluxweed picked at the full moon in 1993. Beautiful, my favorite thing in this box so far is this. I love the potion bottles. I love that this bottle is a different and interesting shape. And I love that inside, oh my God, I really wanna take the cork out. Can I remove it? I really wanna poke it. Yeah, I love that. It's a really nice thing. I collect these now. I've got a lot of potions and I can't wait to get more. They do tend to include these in most of their boxes, which is brilliant. And it's definitely one of the things that I look forward to the most in the gobstone alley boxes so yeah another potion i love it i love it a lot okay they're doing a good job they're doing a good job there is not one thing that i dislike so far right we've got something in the fun packaging again so it's going to be fragile it is this month's candle i can see it's a candle ah <sighs> okay really sad that i didn't get this in october when we were meant to but it doesn't matter because it's not Halloween themed, it's pumpkin juice. These candles are by Incendio Candles and they are vegan. Someone asked me the other day, what does it mean that a candle's vegan? You don't eat it. What it means is they don't use things like beeswax, they don't use any animal products, they most likely use soy. So yeah, there's the answer to that. You can get these on their website, I think, and they're handmade and it says pumpkin juice. Let's have a smell. Okay, I'm ready. You know what, that's actually really pleasant. It's very autumnal, very autumnal. I can smell the cloves because there is indeed some cloves on top right there. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna save this for next Halloween. Really pretty. I love the branding of the pumpkin juice. I don't have a pumpkin juice bottle. I really want one. I wish that I got one last time that I went to Universal but I didn't. So yeah, there's the candle. Again, really happy with the candle. Okay, we've still got things. We've still got plenty of things in here to talk about. So let's talk about, what is this? A bookmark. Okay, we don't normally get these. Is this something new that they're gonna put in to all of the boxes? So it says on the back, it says, don't worry. You're just as sane as I am. <laughs> bad, bad impression. And it says, things we lose have a way of coming back to us in the end. If not, always the way if not always in the ways we expect luna there we go i got there so yeah it's a really nice bookmark it looks like it's from on recycled card which i may be wrong but it looks really nice it looks handmade it's pretty you can't go wrong with bookmarks unless you don't have books and you have a kindle i have both so i'm quite happy really nice luna's the best character in the world there's a pin here a button badge. It's not a pin, it's a badge. But Americans call them buttons, I think, but it's a badge. And it says Hogwarts. Well, I didn't say, it is Hogwarts. I'm losing my mind. Though, sadly, mine looks really scratched, um, which is a little disappointing. Yeah, mine has quite a lot of scratches on it, but you can see that it is Hogwarts, and I will always represent Hogwarts forever and ever. Forever and ever and ever and ever. Okay, next up we have got, ooh, what are these? These are branded. This is a gummy creature. I have not seen these before. These must be brand new. I think this is meant to be Buckbeak. Obviously not in Buckbeak colors, but I can see wings and the little hooves. I think it's meant to be Buckbeak. Sadly, it doesn't say. Either way, love gummy sweets. Definitely gonna eat that later on. Cool. Yeah, I'm excited to see more of those around the shops. Pretty cool. We've got, oh, this box is given this month. Okay, let's have a look at this. Now, I already know what this is because I've got two of them. So this is part of their Prefect Bathrooms range and it has a nice wooden piece of packaging to protect it. Oh, it's Remus Lupin's chocolate bath salt. So I assume this is gonna smell chocolatey. Now, if you don't like bits, floating in your bath. Personally, not a fan. You can put these in little bags that, you know the little kind of um, net bags, you can put them in there and it, the bits won't float around your bath. So let's have a little look. Ooh, okay, no, this doesn't have bits in. Oh, this smells good. Okay, hang on. Ooh, wait a minute. 
initially it smells really good and then oh I'm not sure I don't know how I feel about it it looks nice you can see all the bath salts and it's most likely got chocolate bits in it because they do tend to go that little bit further by making them really realistic it does smell like cocoa powder and chocolate but there is a smell there that's just like hmm but maybe it smells better in the bath water either way I do like these I love the tubs that they come in I keep them in my bathroom I have three now so let's move on from that I think it's a really sweet idea next up we have got a licensed keyring it is the deathly hallows and I as I as I've opened these before there is nothing on the back of them it's just the front so yeah you've got you do indeed have the deathly hallows symbol on there and it says the deathly hallows underneath so yeah nice little licensed product there Ooh, okay I'm digging this so I'm not normally a big fan of these metal tin kind of display plates because I never know what to whoop, I never know what to do with them. Um, I don't really want to put these onto my wall, but I do like this because it's very rare to get kind of Gringotts, the Gringotts Bank branded stuff, and this would make a cool little thing in some flat lays for Instagram. But yeah, I do actually quite like the design of that. I'm definitely gonna keep this one. It's not going near my giveaway box, but yeah, I'm keeping that. They are nice, they're A5 metal wall signs, and these aren't that cheap either. I believe these cost at least six or seven pounds to buy from actual Harry Potter shops. So yeah, like that, I'm a fan. And oh, how could I forget this month's tea? Oh, it's a really cute theme. So every month in the Goblin Alley box, you get a Cozy Owls Magical Sweets and Drinks, um, well, Magical Drinks and Sweets tea. And this is Hagrid's Winter Tea. That's very cute, I love Hagrid so much. And it has black tea, coconut, yes Hagrid, roast almonds, raisins, and a whiskey aroma. Ooh, this actually sounds delicious. I, I like a little bit of whiskey sometimes, and I really like coconut, so let's have a look. Yep, ooh, yes, it has coconut in there. It smells like a really nice coconutty sweet tea. I'm a huge fan of this tea. This is one that I'm definitely gonna try later on, actually. I I have so many of these now. I want to use them as display teas. Does that sound weird? I wanna get loads of magical potion bottles and fill them with all the different teas because they look so beautiful. I know it's like, well, why don't you drink them all? I'm not the biggest tea drinker, but I do definitely try their teas to see how they taste. And this one smells absolutely divine. Okay, I think we've got to the end of the box. We've found the October flying parcel sheet. So how many items were in here? There were 12 items, which is great. They always do a great job of putting loads of items in each box. And so yeah, there's a t-shirt, which is fair trade with a custom print. And it tells you how to wash them and that kind of thing. And apparently it was their most wanted design from 2017. There's a licensed mug, a licensed metal wall thing, uh, a Deathly Hallow licensed keyring, a little vial with fluxweed, which is needed for your Polyjuice potion. Yes, of course it is. So Remus Lupin's chocolate bath salts, and there's the candle, which is pumpkin, apple, and cloves. That's why I liked it. I really like apple scents. The Cozy Elves tea, the sweets with a brand new creature. Postcard from Hogsmeade. Again, go and check out the Magic Mushroom Paper Company on Etsy, links down below. Give her some love because I feel really bad that her design ended up in one of these boxes. Um, a magical bookmark and a Hogsmeade pin. Oh, hang on a minute, was that pin not Hogwarts? Am I going insane? I think they meant to put Hogwarts pin, assuming they mean this. Yes, they did. This isn't Hogsmeade, it's Hogwarts. You can see, you can see the lake, you can see the mountain, you see the Great Hall. That is 100% Hogwarts. Hmm, maybe it was a typo on their sheet. Either way, there you go. We finally opened the October box from Govstone Alley. What was my favorite item? See, they, they, it was a really strong box. Would I argue it was worth a two plus month wait? I'm not sure, but I can't complain because I'm gifted these. I find it really hard to complain. But either way, I really hope you guys get back on track, Govstone Alley, because you are one of the highest quality boxes 
on the market of the magical boxes if you just get back on time everyone's gonna love you even more so my favorite things obviously the flux weed in the potion and I did really enjoy this postcard. I really like the tea as well. So maybe I've got three favorites. Hagrid's winter tea, the Hogsmeade postcard, and the Fluxweed potion. What was your favorite? I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Is there anything you didn't like? Did you get this? Has it arrived yet? Are you still waiting for things? I mean, no, don't answer that. I know that a lot of you are. Either way, hopefully they get on track for 2019. I am due another one of these. I'm due a Christmas box, but I feel as though I'm probably not gonna end up opening that until after Christmas now, because I don't know, it's meant to arrive today or tomorrow, but obviously I've, I've got other things scheduled. So you will see that when you see that, but it's definitely on its way. Thank you, magical Christmas Jesus. Um, I'm gonna go now. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys very soon.